So here we have the FA group clinching knee style. We're just going to look at some of the techniques and what they do. So you can see Song Kong Fa. He slides his arm by the ear. This prevents a lock. It's very important to be positioning your arms correctly. You can see him grab the head, also dragging him down to launch into the knee. Then we continue to move forward. More knees coming in from Song Kong Fa, driving him up the middle. His trainer has punches the body. This is testing him. You see that same drag. He locks the left hand onto the right and is pushing him into the ropes so he can get space for that big launching knee. Then the two continue on. You see more hand positioning there. Again, that strong knee up the middle. It scores a bit different. He presses forward with the forearms to push the opponent back and then walks into these big damaging knees. You see Song Kong Fa sp spring up with these knees as well. And at times he's sort of waiting. He's jerking uh, his trainer down. Here's another big knee from him. He opens up his hip to really launch into that side knee. It's almost like you're opening up a door. You see him pull down the neck. Uh, this just destabilizes the opponent a lot. It also annoys them. You see that left hand really gripping onto the right. It, secures the lock there then there's more arm control moving into that sort of classic dominant position the knees going right up the middle and he starts to really repeat these knees just for conditioning bang bang two knees in a row there's more arm positioning and he's going to step and pivot here opening up the opponent for a same side knee so you turn left you knee left uh, you want a knee into that open side. Here's more of that arm positioning around the neck. And he drags his opponent backwards. This is, sets up a big knee. And bang, there it is from Song Kong Fa. Then again, you see that sort of driving lock into the neck. The face push as well. Just moving out. But he moves in and he leans onto his opponent and trainer dragging onto his body with the weight of his upper body. Then there's a face push again. Then we go back into that very classic lock from FA Group. Each time he's springing off the ball of the foot for the knee, gives it more power, more explosion. And he hooks onto the bicep there to control the clinch and prevent elbows from coming in. Then that also opens up the side for the knee. Here's more arm control. Then we go into the lock again. And he's going to jerk and drag him down for a knee. You see how he fell forward there. The trainer fell forward. That gave Song Gong Fa a better knee. He's just managing the distance between the two with his upper body. He uses his forearms to create more leverage for the knees. Then the knees keep coming in, and again, he's just got that vice-like grip around the neck all the time. Moving into a more classic clinch position. The knees going right up the center, that time going to the side. You see he puts an arm right by his ear to prevent the lock coming in. And this is where uh, Song Kong Fa just begins a knee circuit. Just non-stop power knees for about 30 seconds. This is obviously very, very tiring, but FA Group very, very strong on conditioning, having very tough, resilient fighters that are able to fight, fight, and fight some more. So Song Kong Fa goes to the break with more and more knees.